It is getting cold out here. Our fish pond froze over. As you can see, the ice is really starting to melt away right now. It just got barely below freezing last night. I wouldn't break up the pond ice if it hadn't already been melting. The ice itself acts as a layer of insulation to keep the liquid water below from getting even colder. Here's a couple shots of that ice that I took earlier in the day. are just fine. Even when it gets cold enough for the ice to be really thick, they just go into kind of a dormant state. And year after year, the two fish that we have in here have just pulled through just fine. So I'm not worried about the fish. I will want to move the chickens hanging bucket waterer inside the coop where it stays a little bit warmer. I prefer to keep the chicken waterers out here in the chicken run for as long as I can just because this bucket waterer will drip some and it's just a good idea to keep that excess moisture out of the coop. did need to break up the ice in the goat's water. Rabbit waterers seem to hold up pretty well in the cold temperatures, at least today, because it really wasn't that cold. I expect uh, as it gets even colder that we'll probably have to take those rabbit waterers inside and fill them up with warm water at least once a day if they don't thaw out during the day. Our quail waterers. You can kind of see and feel here that there's definitely liquid on top of the ice down below. So the quails can get water just fine. And just squeezing it a little bit, you can kind of feel a little bit of ice breaking up in there, but that it's mostly water inside. Again, if it got really cold, we'd probably have to fill these things up with warm water, just like the rabbits.
I do have this thermos style chicken waterer that we can use in our mobile chicken coop, the mini cooper. That chicken coop just doesn't stay quite as warm as our more traditional large chicken coop does. We really don't get very many below freezing days out here. And just a little bit of ice like today really isn't a problem for us or our animals. It may not be as much fun working outside on days like this, but they are a part of this place, a part that just has to be accepted for what it is. <laughs> Remember that experiment with the flock block to get our chickens to lay more eggs? This is the time of year when the days are just about as short as they're going to get, and chickens just don't lay as many eggs this time of year. It's a little frustrating. I've had to disappoint a lot of our longtime egg customers. Well, I'm gonna try and do something about that because happy chickens just might lay more eggs for us. We've got a flock block for them as a treat. What a bunch of lazy, ungrateful chickens. What do you have to say for yourselves? We've let it go on for maybe about a week. Shh. We've let it go on for maybe about a week and there's no real appreciable increase in eggs, I'd say. It's been very uneven the last uh, few days. Sometimes we'll have a little more, sometimes a little less. The weather's been different though. Sometimes it's sunny, sometimes it's just rainy and overcast. But the chickens are kind of happy with the flock block. And happy chickens aren't bad. Rogue, how did you get out, Rogue? How did you get out? How did you get out, Rogue? It's all right. Come on, come on Rogue. Go back that way. There you go. So hopefully yeah. she'll go back up there now. Well, let me fix that. This was my bad. Our goat stand ramp is designed to come on and off pretty easily. Just like that. I was out here blowing leaves off the deck the other day and I had to take it off because the leaves get bottlenecked down underneath there. I was in a hurry and didn't put it back on correctly. So, sorry Wendy, and sorry Rogue. <laughs>